Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is your host, Delta Gregory Newsom with Faith in God Internet TV on Pot Bean Live. I want to say God bless you. Today is uh, a wonderful, blessed day. A day that we can rejoice and be glad in it. And we should bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And so he's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. And so we thank the Lord. Uh, we're here in our touch and agree prayer hour. This is the war cry and the battle cry station. And when we call on Jesus, he will answer prayer. So we need to call on him, saints. We're here for you. And so what we want to do as we get our sidebar and go before the Lord throne of grace to petition the Lord for the various requests, saints, we need to be praying. It's praying time. And so if you have time, you have any free time to pray you might be working you might be busy doing um, your daily responsibility but the Bible did say in Luke 18 he spoke a parable unto this end and he said men ought to always pray and not to faint and so saints let us come touch and agree in this prayer hour uh, you may not be able to pray the whole half an hour or hour but if you can come on and touch and agree for I don't know five minutes ten minutes or if you just come on and touch and agree we're here please call us 414-628-0568 you can call us with your petition and your request but at this time we want to pray for our presiding bishop, Bishop Floyd Scott, our assisting presiding bishop, uh, Bishop Dr. Charles Bennett, uh, First Lady Mother Bennett, and the Lebanon Church and all the saints there. Let us pray for all the ministries uh, of the National Pentecostal Power Churches Incorporated, which for short, I just say NPPCI. Let us pray for all the churches uh, that's affiliated and connected to the body. Uh, let us pray for souls that God will save. Let us pray for uh, our essential workers, our doctors, nurses, and those healthcare workers working in nursing homes and medical field, and the essential workers that working in restaurants and various places, grocery stores, and to give us our essential things that we need to. Uh, used to sustain um, our daily need. Let us pray for those families because they're definitely uh, uh, at risk. And so let us pray. The Bible admonishes us to pray. We want to pray for those that have lost their loved ones. Uh, it's, it's a real dark hour. But we're admonished to pray. And we want to trust and believe God. You know, we just want to trust and believe God because we know he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that working in us. And so we want to give honor um, to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to our honorable pastor, Bishop Murchison, to Lady Murchison of the Pentecostal Power Church and the entire Pentecostal Power Church in Milwaukee and all of our sister churches. We just want to give honor to whom honors due, and we thank the Lord for my own wife, Missionary Newson, 
uh, for God, what God is yet doing for the both of us in terms of uh, taking us higher in the Lord and and just keeping us, amen, in the center of his will and uh, that we would, amen, be vessels to be used for his glory. And so we're, we're grateful to the Lord for the privilege and opportunity to serve you. Um, I count it a great uh, privilege and blessing to be your humble servant today. And so we're going to we're going to do what the Lord has called us to do. We're going to pray. And we want you to pray with us. And, you know, we got to, you know, we we don't want to do it by ourselves. But we we if we have to. We must do what we got to do. But we had admonished by the Lord. He asked the boys when he went into the Garden of Gethsemane, pray with me one hour. And so this is your touch and agree hour. This is the time for you to be there. Praise God. This is your there prayer time. Amen. And we enjoyed the class on last night and we can be caught in a lot of theirs. But I want to be in prayer. That's the there I want to be caught in. Praise God. And so let us pray. Let us seek God. Uh, let us pray for our, our children. Let us pray for our fallen soldiers. Um, spiritually and naturally. Let us pray, saints. Let us pray for healing. Let us pray for consolation. Let us pray for encouragement. And let us pray for strength for one another. Remember, um, Sister Soraya and uh, many others that we uh, have heard that have uh, gotten sick or fallen ill due to the COVID uh, doesn't really um, uh, doesn't really disturb me you know that you know people of God and people we know are getting the COVID but we want to pray that God will pre preserve and uh, allow them to recover uh, assistant presiding bishop let us pray that God will uh allow him to recover and that's what we're praying for we're believing God and we're trusting God and so we want to get ready to get on this prayer line we got a couple minutes you can call us 414-628-0568 please call us uh, please join us 414 628-0568. Please call us. We're here. We just want to give it a couple more minutes and then we're going to get into our prayer scripture. All right. Which is found in 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 7 and verse number 12 through 16. All right. So we're going to be getting it in just a couple minutes. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse number 12 through 16. Okay. So we ask that you would touch and agree with us. All right. Are we getting ready? In just one more minute, we're going to go ahead and go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. That's what we want to do. All right. All over the building. Are we getting ready to get that scripture now? So let us get it. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse number twelve uh, through sixteen. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night. 
and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place for myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend to the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Amen. Let us go before his throne. And uh, we want to pray. Eternal God, our Savior, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your loving kindness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless your name. We lift you up. Lord, we glorify your name right now in the precious name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for being, oh, God, so merciful unto us. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us the opportunity, oh, God, to crowd and call your holy name. Lord Jesus, help us in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we petition you today, Lord, we give you glory. We give you play, praise. We give you glory and honor, Lord. We give you praise. We give you thanks. Oh, God, for the things that you have done. Oh, God, for us and your people, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, stretch forth your hand to heal. Lord, you know what your people have need of. We come before you, Lord just to petition you and thank you. And oh God, lift up your holy name because you are worthy of the praise, the glory and the honor. Oh God, that you so richly deserve. Father, we thank you now. And Lord, we praise your name. Oh God, we lift you up, oh God, in the midst of, oh God, what we're going through. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we praise you now. Father, we give you glory. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise right now. Oh, God, we love thy name. Oh, God, we magnify you, oh, God, and not our situation. In the name of Jesus, move by your power and your anointing, oh, God. Oh, God, move like only you can. And, Father, we be careful to glorify and praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you right now. In the precious name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give you glory and we give you praise, oh, God, for bringing us out of the muck and the mire. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, nobody but you have delivered us. Oh, God, and placed our feet upon a rock. We thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we give you praise right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, have your way. Oh, God, in our lives. Oh, God, we give it to you, Lord, our every burden. Oh, God, we cast our cares upon you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, do it like only you can. Yes, Lord, we thank you right now. Oh, God, we praise you right now. In the matchless name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we give you glory. We give you praise. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless those, oh, God. Oh, God, that are on the front lines. In the name of Jesus, we intercede, God, and we pray for the lost, oh, God, of loved ones, family members that are hurting, those that are going through, those that need help. We're praying, God, that you would touch, heal, and deliver. In the name of Jesus, oh God, set the captives free. Lift up the bowed down head, oh Lord. Father, we pray now 
that you would touch like never before, God. Oh, God, during this time of this pandemic, we pray, God, because we know you're strong deliverer. And Father, we praise you now. Oh, God, in spite of, Lord, we look to you, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help those that are going through right now. In the name of Jesus, help those that are fallen. Help those, oh God, oh God, heads that are bowed down. Lift them up in you, Lord. Oh God, that they might have refuge. Lord, that they might have deliverance. Oh God, that they might receive healing. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. We pray, the further, oh God, the furtherance of the gospel of Jesus Christ to be distributed throughout this earth. We pray, God, for every heart, God, on social media. Oh, God, that, oh, God, hear this prayer that you would touch and minister to the need. Oh, God, whomever, wherever they are, whoever they are, meet them at that point of need, honor their repentance now. Give them a heart of penitence. Look on the backslider. Oh, God, that they will call on you and be restored. Oh, God, and that their joy would be renewed. Their strength would be renewed as the eagle. And, oh, God, touch right now. And even those that wait upon the Lord, let them, oh, God, be renewed in their strength. Help them to mount up with wings as eagles. In the name of Jesus, that they will run and not be weary. And that they would walk and not faint. Help them now. We know you care and that you're there. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to get out of that place, oh God. Oh God, of despair. Those that are in homes, oh God, those, oh God, that are in their homes, those that feel lonely, those that feel dislodged, oh God, grant them deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we know you can, Lord. Lord, we know you will, Lord. Do it for your glory's sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, do it for your glory's sake. And the glory shall be thine. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you right now. We thank you for a great deliverance coming their way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we need you now. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, for we have sinned against heaven. Help us, God, as a people, as we lie prostrate before you, God. Forgive us, Lord, of every sin, every transgression, everything that's not like you, God. Help us, God, as we grab hold to the horns of the altar. And, Lord, we cry, we lament. Lord, we weep and we mourn, oh, God, for the loss of many. Some left here, God, without you. Some left, oh God, in despair. Some left, oh God, confused. Lord, some left, oh God, without hope. Some died in you, God. Father, we pray for those families that, oh God, didn't get closure. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that you would look, oh God, down upon your people in this dark hour. And Lord, cause your face to shine upon us once again. Because you are God. You are our Savior. You are our Deliverer. In you, we will put our trust. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you're yet doing in the lives of the people. Help them, God. Oh, God, that they would pray and seek you. And oh, God, that they would turn toward God. Help them, God, that they will give themselves wholly unto thee, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. O oh God, we're praying, God, for the ministerial body and all of those, O oh God, that you're calling to be saved. We're praying, God, for your divine will to be done. O oh God, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, God. O oh God, help us, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, you taught the disciples how to pray. 
But, oh, God, we know the Lord's prayer is in St. John 17. Help us now to know, oh, God, that, Lord, we should be praying. Oh, God, we should be praying, and we can be praying for the things, oh, God, that you desire for the kingdom work to be completed. Wherefore now, God, we look to you who's able to direct us, being the God of all grace, Direct us, Lord. Order our steps in your word. Direct our path, O God. Make our path straight in the name of Jesus. Look on those, O God, O God, that are having issues, God, O God, with their relationship, O God, with you. Those that are having, oh God, relationship issues with their brother and sister. We pray, God, you would help them. You would comfort them. You would deliver them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we come to tell you thank you. In spite of, oh God, the struggles we face. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, because you're worthy of the praise. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, we thank you right now. And, oh, God, we pray, God, for an uplifting and an upbuilding of your people, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, have your way now. Lord, we cry out to you. Look on Bishop Jones and, oh, God, the New Life Pentecostal Church in Palm Beach and all of those that are laboring on social media, God, to get the word out. Oh, God, church is transformed in the way such as we knew it. But Father, help us to know, God, that methods change, but your principles of holiness are the same. Even on the broadcast, we got to be holy. Even, oh God, on social media, we have to be holy. Even, oh God, in all of our works and deeds and attributes, we must be holy in the name of Jesus. Help us now, God, to follow peace with all men and holiness without to which no man shall see the Lord. Keep us with a heart of repentance, Lord, before you and before our brothers and sisters, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have sanctified your name. And so, God, we glorify that name you sanctified. The name of Jesus. Oh God, we know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous can run into it and they are safe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for provision. Thank you for shelter. Thank you for healing and, oh God, a reasonable portion of health and strength. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your holy power. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we have no power. We have no might except, oh, God, you grant it to us in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, look on pastors everywhere. Look on all of your leaders, especially those, oh, God, that are living right, those that are declaring your truth. We pray, God that you would, oh God, touch them with your finger of love and give them encouragement, oh God, to keep on keeping on in the name of Jesus. Bless them, oh God, with all spiritual wisdom, power, and understanding. Oh God, to keep caring, oh God, oh God, your, oh God, gospel message in the name of Jesus, the good news, the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Help us now, God, to you be glory, power, and dominion forever in the name of Jesus. We're praying, God, oh God, that we all would touch and agree in the prayer hour. And Lord, that we would cry out at the time of war, at the time of the heat of the battle. We're in the heat of it, God. We pray now. We petition you now. We call on you in the midst of it, God. In the midst of it all. 
we give you glory. We give you praise. Look on the saints, God. Those that are fallen, those that are, oh God, fell into, oh God. Oh God, a place, oh God, of hopelessness. Restore them, God. Revive them. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that the eyes may be open and that the ears may be attent, oh God, to the prayer. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Oh, God. You are God. And besides you, there is no other. Lord, there's some thirst, oh, God. Somebody thirsting for you. Somebody seeking after you. Look on those souls, God, that are hungering and thirsting throughout the land. Oh, God. Fill them up with your, oh God, goodness. Fill them up, Lord, with your love and compassion. Fill them up, oh God, with patience and understanding that they might minister, that they might hear your call and hear your, oh God, hear your cry in the name of Jesus. Oh God, because you're calling, oh God, men everywhere to repent. Thank you, Lord. Look on, oh God, those, oh God, that, oh God, have health issues. Those got mind issues. Those that are feeble in their bodies, yet frail, oh God. Frailty, oh God, has, oh God, overcome them. We pray that you would give them stability because, God, we know that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Help us now that we would treasure the things of God. Lord, that we would treasure our relationship with you. Your holiness, we would treasure it. Your word, oh God, that we would treasure it and that it would continue to be a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Touch, oh, God, each and every member. Oh, God, of the Pentecostal Power Church family. Minister to them, oh, God, like only you can. Lord, have thine own way. Look on, oh, God. Oh, God. Sister Sandra's husband, Brother Moore. Touch in the name of Jesus. Look on Sister Nita, Father, Mr. Clemens. Touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, touch those that are going through now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look on the Pruitt family. Oh, God, touch Sister Rhonda. Touch, oh, God, Monet. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch in a special way, God. Minister healing. Oh, God. Look on Sister Tabitha, God. Katina, bless. Even though, oh, God, you are delivered her out of the hospital. Continue to minister strength to her body right now. Lord, we trust and believe you. We believe the Lord's report. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now. Father, we pray, God, you would touch in a special way. In the name of Jesus, help us, God. We need you, God. As we touch and we agree today, Lord, we're praying, God, that you would deliver them from their there. And, Lord, you would bring them out. And, Lord, that they would rejoice, oh, God, in the God of their salvation. We are praying, God, we're praying, God. We're touching and we're agreeing, oh, God, for, oh God, the encouragement of the people of God. Oh God, our youth, oh God, and our, oh God, those that are, oh God, you're calling to be saved. We're praying, God, you will continue to teach them thy ways, continue to open their understanding, and continue, oh God, to keep them from falling and present them faultless, God. As we continue to be there to support them, 
teach, train, and be there, oh God, to guide them. Help them, God. Let them know, God, that you are there. When we're not there, let them know you're there. And help us to be there in the corner, God, rooting for their success. Oh, God, in God, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for a great deliverance, a great breakthrough, a manifestation of the move of God upon thy people. Send revival like never before, God. Bless them in a special way. In the name of Jesus, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for it right now. We pray, God. Oh, God, you would honor the request, God, that it went up before you today. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, that you would, oh, God, grant according, oh, God, oh, God, to your promises and your riches. Thank you, Lord. Do it for your glory's sake, and the glory shall be thine. Bless those, oh, God, that are calling on your name right now. We touch and we agree and we believe in you for breakthrough, oh, God. And we claim in victory right now. In the name of Jesus. Look on every husband, look on every wife, look on every family, the heads of families, touch in a special way. Look on the single mothers, oh God, and the single fathers. Oh God, look on the single God. Keep them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bless them now, Lord. Look on those, God, that are going back to school, Lord. Bless them. Oh God, be a fence all around your people. And Father, we thank you. We forever give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify and we lift you up in the matchless name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord, to the glory of God. And Father, we thank you. We forever give you praise in the matchless name of Jesus, to the glory of God. Thank God. Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his wonderful name. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God is going to do it. He's going to do just what he said. Praise God. Will you trust him? Amen. He's a God that will not lie. Praise God. And he'll do just what he said he would do. Praise God. Amen. Lift him up. Give him praise. Because he's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. And he's worthy of the honor. If you're here and you're on the line, you can still yet call us if there's a special request you have for your loved one or for someone in particular. You can call us and or you can text that petition. We're on Podbean Live or you can text it to our phone number 414-628-0568. Please call us. We're here to intercede and pray and touch and agree for you. And we're here to serve uh, God you and God's people. And so it's important to us that you reach out and uh, make your petition and uh, express your petition. And we want to touch and agree with you. You may not have the opportunity to call, but you can text us. And if you can't text, you can call us and we'll be uh, touching and agreeing with you uh, for about a 30 seconds to a minute and we get on off the line. Praise God. So we want all saints, all, all uh, believers, all of those that are in need, don't have to be saved. You don't have to be delivered. We're going to pray for your deliverance. And we serve a God that can and will make you whole because he is a bomb in Gilead and we have a physician that's able to heal. And so we ask that you would call us, that we would pray 
and touch and agree with you because it's your time, it's your season to be delivered. All right? And so we want to say God bless you to all the people of God. Thank you for joining us again today. I'm your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. Until next time, God bless you in Jesus' name. Worship him for the healing right now. Yeah. Come on, let me hear you worship him all over the house tonight. God is in the room to heal you tonight. His presence is here. God wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. God will see you through. He'll take the pain away. I know he does. Everywhere you go. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, he will. Yeah.